guys, welcome back to Midnight Violets. So if you didn't see my last video, you won't know that I am pregnant with twins. Two babies. Um, so you're probably kind of now in the loop about what this title is about. And I thought I would do a kind of 12 week update for you, just kind of fill you in on what's been happening, what's what I've been feeling and all that kind of thing. Um, I'm not actually 12 weeks anymore, I'm 14 weeks, but I thought it would just be fun to kind of tell you how it's been. So I think, to start from the beginning, I found out I was pregnant at just over four weeks, so quite early. The excitement kind of turned into sickness very quickly. Um, I think just a few days after I found out, I started getting really, really ill. Not so much really ill as in all the time, just I felt absolutely horrendous. I literally felt like a battery. Cut the bottom off and you'd just taken all the juice out. I just felt like I had no energy, like absolutely no energy. I would go to work and I'd be like, sat at my desk and I'd get home and I would just sleep. I would lie on the sofa, kind of sat upright because I felt so sick. Like, uh, that basically lasted up until 12 weeks. I've kind of regained my energy a bit, but I'm not back to normal me by any means at all. So hopefully that kind of explains why I've had a massive lack of videos, because I've just been sleeping really. Another one of my symptoms has been that I don't like food. I, as you probably know, I just eat like a plant-based diet. Um, and basically I just used to eat fruit and veg. I mean, I did eat kind of some rice and, you know, quinoa and kind of got them down. I ate a bit of that, but it was generally basically fruit and veg, that's all I ate. But I can't stomach fruit at all. I, I just cannot eat fruit. It's horrible going from someone that probably eats, you know, 10 plus portions of fruit a day to someone that just can't stomach it at all. I can't even drink orange juice. And for me, that's quite hard, like mentally, as well as I don't feel so great. That probably hasn't helped with me feeling ill. Um, but there's not a lot you can do about that. If your body won't take it, you just can't do it really. Um, I've been a little bit better with veg, but again, I've really not been able to stomach it. I genuinely, true story here, went a whole week where I ate nothing, like absolutely nothing, but Marmite sandwiches. That's all I ate for a week. Uh, and I felt really bad. My midwife was like, well, Marmite's quite good for you. And if you're eating wholemeal bread, you're at least you're getting some food in you. And yeah, <laughs> that wasn't a good week. Um, and apart from that, I've really been liking potato waffles. I don't think it's necessarily that I've been craving them. I think it's just that I've not wanted to eat anything else. I just really, really like plain food at the moment. Um, so again, which is really strange. I used to like quite interesting spicy food. I was really like nice vegetable curries and chilies and that kind of thing. Um, not so much anymore. I suppose one question that a lot of people are probably curious about is whether I really had any symptoms or knew that I was pregnant before I found out I was. And I noticed that like in the kind of five days leading up to when I found out, I was in the most horrendous mood ever, like worse than like a normal bad mood. And I don't think I really thought much of it at the time, but now looking back, I think I can kind of see that. Like the, I was in the worst mood ever. Like I can't even describe how much of a bad grumpy person I was. Like it was, yeah probably didn't want to go near me and I was for the first like month as well just a horrendous like horrible person um okay I think I'm gonna put that down to hormones not me actually being a horrendous person so those are kind of like the symptoms and where I've been feeling so basically ridiculously drained and tired and only able to eat really really boring plain food um I've had some other symptoms like my stomach's been really itchy um, I think that's because it's growing and stretching. Um, so yeah, I'm putting it down to that. And my boobs have been a little bit sore, but again, pretty standard. I think that's all I've really had really. So the quite typical symptoms, nothing particularly different or unusual. Well, actually my hair, it's, it's not doing it so much anymore, but at first like it was falling out. Like I would wash my hair and I, you know, you'd run your hands through it and I'd have like clumps of hair, I was like, hair's falling out. But luckily that's kind of subsided now and hopefully you can't tell too much, although it's horrible, it's kind of slightly damp, I got caught in the rain and I have no hair dryer, so. So moving on a little bit, um, the first appointment that you normally have in the UK with a midwife is about 10 weeks. So obviously I went to that appointment, they do the standard thing, they, you know, family history, they take your blood, test some other things, obviously did that, you know. <laughs> 
Um, nothing unusual, Just kind of worked on it as being a single pregnancy because at that point, that's all we knew. A um, couple of weeks later, then went for my scan. So I had that at about 12 weeks. I can't remember exactly, but it was about 12 weeks. So we use that as the cutoff point for today's video. And I had noticed that I was starting to get a bit of a pump and I'd read that I shouldn't really be showing. I don't know if I was concerned, I was just a bit self-conscious of it. I was like, I shouldn't really be showing yet, like, oh, do people just think that I'm eating too much or... I don't know, but there was genuinely like a little bump going on. And I actually had joked with my husband, oh, there's two in there, that's why. <laughs> little did we know, there was two. Um, you know, she did the standard, oh, there's your baby, blah, blah, blah. And then she said, have you had a scan before? And I was like, no, no, this is the first one, you know. And then she was like, and there's the second one. I was like, okay. And me and my husband just sat there like, what, what is going on? I mean, obviously we were really excited, but it's nothing that you really ever expect to hear. Um, so it's kind of sunk in a bit now. It's been two weeks and my stomach has grown huge since then. Um, I do actually have a picture or a little clip of when I was 12 weeks. So you can see what I was talking about with quite a stomach. Um, so I'll insert that for you right at the end so that it doesn't interrupt the middle of the video. So yeah, that's basically what's been going on. I think looking back now, maybe I was so tired and drained um, because it was twins, because they do say that it kind of takes a bit more out of you. Um, so I don't know if I feel justified in feeling so tired, but it makes me kind of feel a bit better about how tired I was. So anyway, guys, I hope that you liked my kind of catch up to my 12 weeks with me and answered all the questions that you were kind of curious on. If you do have questions um, that I've not answered, then leave them down below, I will get back to you. Obviously, this is my first kind of pregnancy update video. So if there's things that you would like me to cover, I don't quite know what people expect me to say so much. Um, but if there's things that you want me to talk about or mention, then let me know because then I can add that into my next one. And yeah. So if you do like what you saw, then please do subscribe down below and I will speak to you again soon. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.